Good afternoon. Please be seated. This is a special day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to the 139th year. The 139th year in which students and families just like you have gathered together for the commencement exercises of Belhaven University. This is the long-awaited day to recognize the accomplishments of these graduates. The journey you began several years ago comes to completion with this ceremony, but it's not simply the accomplishment of your degree that we celebrate today, but the start of a new phase of your life. And with this new beginning go the prayers of our board, faculty, and administration. Now, education is the interaction that takes place between you and your professors, and that's, it's fitting that some of the faculty are here with you this afternoon, exactly where they've been every step of the way. So as you graduate, we also honor our outstanding faculty who have pushed and pulled and stretched and challenged you to become your very best. And gathered around you are your family and friends and supporters, because graduates, you did not get to this place alone. Through their encouragement, prayers, and sacrifice, that's how you've achieved this important goal. Well, as you know, graduates, the mission of Belhaven University is to prepare students academically and spiritually to serve Christ Jesus in their careers, in human relationships, and in the world of ideas. And I pray you will be alumni who live lives worthy of that mission and of our campus motto to serve, not to be served. This afternoon, Dr. Sharifa Bridges, Assistant Professor of Business Administration, will lead us in the opening prayer of celebration for this service of commencement. And as she prays, let's join together in celebrating the accomplishments of the graduates of the Belhaven University Class of 2022. Let's please bow our heads for a word of prayer. Our heavenly and most gracious Father, once again we thank you. We come with bowed heads and humble hearts, asking for your blessings. As we gather here today to celebrate, we thank you for your darling son who came to uh, give his life so that we may have the right to eternal life. Thank you for Dr. Parrott, and the outstanding leadership here at Belhaven University. Belhaven has given us a safe place to teach, learn, and a solid foundation to build upon as our graduates take their next step into the world. Thank you to all the faculty and staff who were instrumental in these graduates' lives. Lord, thank you for allowing these graduating class of 2022 to receive a quality education from this awesome Christian institution. Gracious and loving God, we now ask for your almighty hand to be upon our graduates as they and their families celebrate this grand milestone. Today, graduates, we pray for you because each of you have met the challenge, kept the faith to the commitment of your studies and kept God first through it all. Loving God, we know you will continue challenging them as into this world. We ask that you continue to order their steps and give them faith and a sense of purpose as they continue their journey. We have taught them. Now, Lord, we need your help to show them to be effective leaders, servant leaders, and great stewards. May they find fulfillment in doing your will on this journey through life. In your almighty name, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen.
Psalm 8, O Lord, our Lord, the maj your majestic name fills the earth. Your glory is higher than the heavens. You have taught children and nursing infants to give you praise. They silence your enemies who are seeking revenge. When I look at the night sky and I see the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you have set in place, what are mortals that you should think of us mere humans that you should care for us. For you made us only a little lower than God, and you crowned us with glory and honor. You put us in charge of everything you made, giving us authority over all things, the sheep and the cattle and all the wild animals, the birds in the sky, the fish in the sea, and everything that swims the ocean currents. O oh Lord, our Lord, the majesty, majesty of your name fills the earth. Our commencement speaker this afternoon has left a lasting impression on this university and has influence that has impacted thousands and thousands of Bellhaven graduates. Dr. Chip Mason will be retiring this spring after serving 13 years as Dean of our School of Business and will complete his 28th year as a member of our faculty here at Bellhaven. Dr. Mason earned his PhD from the University of North Carolina and earned his undergraduate degree in economics from Duke University. He is currently on the board of directors for the International Accrediting Council for Business Education after spending six years on the board of commissioners. He's chaired over a dozen site visits for business schools seeking accreditation in the United States, in Latin America, and in Asia. And in 2016, he was recognized by this uh, accrediting organization with their highest award, their Founders Award for Excellence in Business Education. Dr. Mason has overseen massive growth of our School of Business with the addition of a number of undergraduate and master's level degree programs. And most recently, he's been the founding dean for our new doctorate of business administration. There are few deans of business in America who have, who have generated as much creativity, growth, and reach as has Dr. Chip Mason. Thanks for being our friend in this journey to me and to our board, to our provost, our administrative leadership, 
and to our faculty. Dr. Mason, we want to not only hear from you today as our commencement speaker, but we want to honor you and Joanna, and we're so glad, Joanna, you're here today for your three decades of service at Bellhaven, and most importantly, your investment in the lives of thousands of business students and the dozens of faculty you have served in the School of Business. Please welcome Dr. Chip Mason. Thank you, Dr. Parrott, uh, for that kind introduction. Uh, I arrived on campus about uh, six months before Dr. Parrott did, uh, some 28 years ago, and it's been a heck of a ride. And uh, it's just uh, amazing what you can do under visionary leadership that's dedicated to the Lord. So I want to thank Dr. Parrott for his mentoring and his leadership over those past uh, 28 years. Well. It's hard to believe the day has finally arrived for you, uh, and it is a privilege and honor for me to address you as graduates. I have spent almost three decades working with adult students here at Bellhaven University. I was an adult student myself. I completed my MBA online. So I know the sacrifices that you made across work, family, church, and community responsibilities to get to this point. This is a celebration for you and your support network to see you walk across the stage in a few minutes, and I promise it will only be a few minutes. You have completed quite the accomplishment here today. You are a select few. Only 13% of our state have a bachelor's degree, and only 8% have a master's degree. Some of you seated here today are the first in your family to get a college or graduate degree. Well done to all of you. You made it. I hesitate to mention one more study on your graduation day, but I thought you might find this study relevant as you get ready to graduate. About 10 years ago, the University of Rochester did a study of 145 graduates, about the same number that are seated here today. They asked them about their goals after graduation. They fell into two categories, intrinsic and extrinsic goals. Intrinsic goals are inward and center around personal growth, relationships, and well-being. Extrinsic goals are outward, material goals, which revolve around money, owning lots of stuff, or gaining power or fame. A year later, they found those with intrinsic goals were building meaningful relationships, and those with extrinsic goals were on track to get money and power. The second finding was more profound. Those with intrinsic goals were happier, and those with extrinsic goals had more shame and fear, along with more physical complaints. In some, those with intrinsic goals tended to love people and use things, while those with extrinsic goals tended to use people and love things. In business, there are a lot of case studies on ethical scandals, and we never seem to be wanting in source material. Again and again, self-serving leaders with an extrinsic love of money or power choose themselves over their employees, customers, and their community, and it leads to all sorts of evil. Take the case of WorldCom, a Fortune 500 company whose headquarters was located just a few miles down the road in Clinton. Their CEO and others went to prison for orchestrating a scheme to inflate the company's earning to drive up its stock price. It was only through a, the efforts of a couple sharp-eyed accountants with a strong sense of moral integrity that the scheme was uncovered. Eventually, it was found to be the largest accounting fraud in the U.S. history to that date. Thousands of people were hurt in the aftermath. Then there's Wells Fargo, an iconic American company. A few years ago, it was discovered that company officials had been incentivizing its employees to open fake accounts in their customers' names. When the scandal hit, it destroyed a 160-year-old reputation overnight and resulted in billions of dollars in fines. Just this past year, as a matter of fact, just this week, uh, co-founders of Theranos were sentenced to 11 and 13 years in prison for cheating investors of billions of dollars over false claims of a miracle blood test requiring only a single drop of blood to diagnose scores of diseases. 
In this case, not only investors were defrauded, but public health was put at risk. When I came to Belhaven, our slogan was, where the power of knowledge meets the power of faith. Faith is certainly an important part of a Belhaven education, but the school decided to be more specific that we were teaching a Christian worldview in all our courses, not just the Bible courses. We adopted the new identifier of our standard is Christ. Although there is no requirement for students to be Christians, all our faculty are carefully vetted for their Christian faith so they are academically and spiritually qualified to prepare students to embark on careers which serve others based on a Christian worldview. How does this idea work in the world of business? I would suggest that most of the business scandals I mentioned before would not have taken place if those leaders had studied Philippians chapter 2, verses 3 and 4, which emphasize watching out for the interests of others rather than one's own interests. They certainly did not follow the example of Jesus who humbled himself to be born in a manger and die on a cross. They did not show love as Christ did, nor were they truth tellers. No doubt they were hardworking and intelligent, but their lack of a moral compass killed their companies, lost millions of dollars, and hurt thousands of innocent people. Unfortunately, these self-serving business leaders did not heed the words of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. who stated, intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education. One final lesson I would like to pass on today comes from Mississippi's own Walter Payton, who was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1993. He played his college football at nearby Jackson State University before going on to play as a running back for the Chicago Bears for 13 seasons. Throughout his career, he rushed almost 17,000 yards, the equivalent of nine miles. But his average yards carried was only 4.4 yards. If you do the math on this, Walter was stopped, likely knocked down, somewhere around 3,800 times during his career. I do not think any of us are going to go on to be pro football players, but there's a valuable lesson here. You will always be hindered or knocked down on the way to achieving your goals. Sometimes you even reach a goal and you're still knocked down as you try to sustain it or carry on. Falling down is part of any success and thus getting back up is also required for success. You have shown great persistence to complete your Belhaven degree and I am sure there have been occasions where you have had to pick yourself up and try again to get here today. You will have to continue this persistence for every goal you have. So the next time life knocks you down, remember Walter Payton and always get yourself back up and into the game. I hope your time at Belhaven has given you not only the grit to persevere, but the character to do so with integrity and honor. Speaking of football, I don't know if many of you have had the chance to visit the Belhaven Bowl, which serves as our football stadium. If you have not visited, we hope you will come back next fall for homecoming. If you go to the stadium, you will notice the flagpole on the hill, which has the Belhaven motto, to serve, not to be served, Matthew 20, 28, in bold letters on its brick foundation. The world has a desperate need for humble servant leaders who will follow the example of Christ and be honest, compassionate, and faithful. Colossians 3, 23 through 24, encourages us to work hard serving the Lord, not men, and our reward will come from the Lord because it is the Lord Christ you are serving. Go forth, Belhaven class of 2022, and be salt and light to a watching world. Congratulations and Christmas blessings to you all. Would all of the graduates please stand? Ladies and gentlemen, 
It is my pleasure to introduce to you the class of 2022-23. On behalf of the faculty of Belhaven University and as vice president of academic affairs and provost of the university, I hereby certify that these candidates upon completion of all requirements have successfully achieved their degrees. We therefore recommend that the Board of Trustees confer upon each of them the appropriate degree with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities these degrees imply. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Belhaven University and the charter granted by the state of Mississippi, I hereby confer these degrees upon you, class of 2022. May God bless you. Will the first row of graduates please come forward? The other rows may now be seated. In a moment, Dr. Smith's going to call the names of these graduates, and as they come across this platform with their diploma, they don't come alone. They come because of families who have stood with them during this time of intense study, moms and dads, husbands and wives, kids, grandparents, extended family, you have pushed and pulled and stretched and sacrificed to make this degree possible. So when your name of your student is called, we also want to honor you, the family who's come for that student, and we would invite you when their name is called for you to stand, if you will, and we can honor you, and you can get a much better picture. Christopher S. Ainsworth, Master of Business Administration. Legerica Granger Alston, Master of Science in Leadership. Billy Joshua Barnes, Master of Science in Leadership. Nikita D. Barnes, Master of Public Administration. Allison Bolian, Master of Health Administration. Nikisha Nishan Boyd, Nikita Nishan Boyd, Master of Business Administration. Alante Desiree Boykin, Master of Public Administration. Tiana Brand, Master of Business Administration. Kayla Smothers Brown, Master of Health Administration. Maisha L. Burr, Master of Business Administration. Toya D. Busby, Master of Business Administration. Neutrosalyn J. Butler, Master of Health Administration. <laughs> Kathy Lynette Caballero, Master of Health Administration. <laughs> Brunetta Cockrell, Master of Health Administration. <laughs> Kayla Coleman, Master of Science in Leadership. Erica Courtney, Master of Public Administration. Cecil Ray Creekmore, Master of Health Administration. 
Cornelius Ladale Dantzler, Master of Business Administration. Nicholas Charles Dawkins, Master of Sports Administration. Shanice Renee Dowdy, Master of Business Administration. Kiana Alexandria Evans, Master of Health Administration. Karen Latrice Fairley, Master of Sports Administration. Bryant Keith Fisher, Master of Science in Leadership. Ebony Denise Funches, Master of Health Administration. Akemia Gibson, Master of Health Administration. Sharon Marchine Green, Master of Science in Leadership. Taylor Denisha Green, Master of Public Administration. Stephen Gustella II, Master of Sports Administration. Samuel Justin Gunn, Master of Business Administration. Mayveta Harris, Master of Science in Leadership. Michael Edward Hawkins, Master of Business Administration. Devin Rashad Hades, Master of Health Administration. Latori Shamir Herring, Master of Business Administration. Bobby Unique Hollins, Master of Business Administration. Brittany Ariel Hudson, Master of Health Administration. Topizia Ivy, Master of Science and Leadership. Marin Devin James, Master of Science in Leadership. Shanisha James, Master of Science in Leadership. Carlisa Sherelle Jenkins, Master of Business Administration. John Johnson, Master of Business Administration. Sabrina Page Jones, Master of Business Administration. Kelton Kemp, Master of Business Administration. Emily Brooke Kitchens, Master of Business Administration. Felicia Tiara Lane, Master of Health Administration. <laughs> Stephanie Denise Langford, Master of Health Administration. <laughs> Amanda Marie Leistico, Master of Business Administration. <laughs> Travis McGee, Master of Health Administration. Tony M. McCauley, Master of Health Administration. Charles McEwen, Jr., Master of Business Administration.
Justice Capri Moore, Master of Science in Leadership. Tanika L. Nance, Master of Health Administration. Jaquila Aisha Nelson, Master of Health Administration. Courtney Electrix Owens, Master of Business Administration. Katrina Franchelle Oxendine, Master of Science in Leadership. Chastity Faith Page, Master of Science in Leadership. Charles Piggies, Master of Business Administration. Julia Olga Perry, Master of Health Administration. Dequan Tomez Phillips, Master of Business Administration. Kenyetta Roshanda Porter, Master of Health Administration. Yolanda Renee Powell, Master of Business Administration. Crystal Larice Purnell, Master of Science in Leadership. Andrew Montrell Quick, Master of Business Administration. Melissa Quinn, Master of Business Administration. Betty B. Rice, Master of Business Administration. Demario Richard, Master of Sports Administration. Etta Sanders, Master of Health Administration. Charles Matthew Scott, Master of Health Administration. Angel Naomi Ann Shelton Willis, Master of Business Administration. Ashley Chantel Smith, Master of Science in Leadership. Chadrick Dominique Smith, Master of Science in Leadership. Asia S. Smothers, Master of Science in Leadership. Jessica Malloy Swindle, Masters of Business Administration. Charlotte R. Tanner, Master of Health Administration. Ranisha L. Thomas, Master of Science and Leadership. Alejandro Villarreal, Master of Health Administration. Felicia Ware, Master of Health Administration. Christian Washington, Master of Business Administration. Chelsea Thompson, Master of Health Administration. Ikiria Kenyell Thompson, Master of Business Administration. <laughs> Sherry Rebecca Thurman, Master of Business Administration. <laughs> Ann 
Amber O'Neill Tolas, Master of Health Administration. Nadia Nicole Watson, Master of Business Administration. Anna Faith Wicker, Master of Health Administration. Amber Brian Williams, Master of Business Administration. Nikki Williams, Master of Science in Leadership. Spring Williams, Master of Health Administration. Brittany Nicole L. Zamudio, Master of Business Administration. Sarah Michelle Arnold, Bachelor of Science in Accounting. Janitra Benjamin, Bachelor of Arts. Chamika Bogan, Bachelor of Arts. Connor Evan Brown, Bachelor of Business Administration. Sandra Bryant, Bachelor of Business Administration, summa cum laude. Vanessa Burgos, Bachelor of Business Administration, magna cum laude. Stephanie Carney, Bachelor of Arts in Biblical Studies, cum laude. Destiny Natalia Castillo, Bachelor of Science in Management. Narziana Collins, Bachelor of Science in Management, cum laude. Kayla Ann Corbin, Bachelor of Science in Management, cum laude. Brenda Craig, Bachelor of Science in Management, cum laude. Brandon Lowell Davis, Bachelor of Arts, summa cum laude. Crystal Davis, Bachelor of Business Administration. Latiphany Cornique Dixon, Bachelor of Business Administration, magna cum laude. Courtney Danielle Green, Bachelor of Science in Accounting. Natasha Lachey Green, Bachelor of Business Administration, summa cum laude. Shanita L. Harris, Bachelor of Arts. Felicia Shante Hollifield, Bachelor of Science in Management. <laughs> Chanel Shakela James, Bachelor of Science in Accounting. Ken Javon Jernigan, Bachelor of Science in Management with Honors. Mariah B. Collins, Bachelor of Science in Accounting. Annie Johnson, Bachelor of Health Administration. Catania Shante Johnson Clemens, Bachelor of Business Administration. Laura Elizabeth Kemp, Bachelor of Arts, magna cum laude.
Cherie Lachey Lewis, Bachelor of Health Administration, magna cum laude. Carolyn Renee Lindsay, Bachelor of Business Administration, cum laude. Sharon Lyles, Bachelor of Health Administration. Brittany Ashley Matthews, Bachelor of Science in Management. Deshay McLaren, Bachelor of Health Administration. Brienne Montgomery, Bachelor of Business Administration, magna cum laude. Zachary Moorhead, Bachelor of Arts in Biblical Studies. Jesse James O'Brank, Jr., Bachelor of Health Administration, magna cum laude. Briandra Shalonda Lee Porter, Bachelor of Arts in Social Services, summa cum laude. Frenche Brown Pointer, Bachelor of Arts, magna cum laude. Dion King Prater, Bachelor of Science in Management. Jacqueline Richardson, Bachelor of Health Administration. Juanita M. Robinson, Bachelor of Arts. Ashley Sanders, Bachelor of Arts. Von Travian F. Sims, Bachelor of Arts. Ashley Akila Smith, Bachelor of Arts. Ray Smith, Bachelor of Arts in Biblical Studies. Tangela Swims, Bachelor of Health Administration, summa cum laude. Veronica Millsap Thompson, Bachelor of Arts in Human Services, cum laude. Janet Deloise Thomas, Bachelor of Social Work, magna cum laude. Stephanie Nicole Thrasher, Bachelor of Health Administration. Iris W. Trussell, Bachelor of Business Administration, summa cum laude. Danielle Smith, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Juwan A. Turner, Bachelor of Health Administration. Kashedra Tibria Usuri Johnson, Bachelor of Arts in Biblical Studies. Greg White, Bachelor of Health Administration. Keisha L. Wire, Bachelor of Arts in Human Services. Candace Nicole York, Bachelor of Science in Management. 
Phyllis Marie Brantley, Associate of Arts. Marquetta Dixon, Associate of Arts. Mason Rourke Haney, Associate of Arts in Biblical Studies. Centoria Eufrancis Pickens, Associate of Arts. Let's praise the Lord for these graduates' success. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the journey of these graduates and for their accomplishments and hard work. We ask now that you be with them as their new adventure begins. We pray that you will fill their hearts with your Holy Spirit to enable them to love you and your kingdom more than this fallen world. We pray that you will guide them in their careers and to give them wisdom and discernment. We ask that you bless their families with your love and saving grace. We ask that they will always remember you, to follow you, and to grow ever more conformed to the image of your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, in whose holy name we pray. Amen. Amen.